This video is on applicability and process of filing Form 10E. Form 10E is applicable under Section 89 of the Income Tax Act. In case of receipt in arrears or advance of any sum in the nature of salary, the assessee can claim relief under Section 89 of the Income Tax Act. Form 10E is required to be filed to claim such a relief. It is advisable that Form 10E is filed before filing income tax return. The said form is available for filing on the e-filing portal. If Form 10E is not filed and the taxpayer wants to claim a relief under Section 89, the ITR file will be processed but the relief claimed will not be allowed. Therefore, it is mandatory to file Form 10E to claim a tax relief on area or advance income under the head salary. Let us now see who should file Form 10E. Please note, Section 89 of the Income Tax Act is primarily designed to reduce the tax burden that might arise from receipt of lump sum payouts pertaining to different assessment years by an individual during an assessment year. Some examples of these lump sum payouts could be salary received in arrears or in advance. In such a case, in order to claim tax relief under Section 89, the assessee is required to file an extra one of Form 10E. If the assessee receives gratuity for service over 5 years but less than 15 years, to claim a relief under Section 89, you are required to fill an extra two of Form 10E. In case of gratuity received for service of 15 years or longer, an extra 2A of Form 10E shall be applicable. For compensation on termination of employment, an extra 3 of Form 10E is required to be filed for the purpose of claiming relief under Section 89. In case of commutation of pension, an extra 4 of Form 10E shall be applicable for claiming relief under Section 89. Let us now see step-by-step -step process of filing Form 10E. In order to file Form 10E on the e-filing portal, you should be registered on the e-filing portal. You are required to log in to the portal using your valid user ID and password. Post login, go to e-file menu, click on income tax forms and then click file income tax forms. In the category of persons without business or professional income, you would be able to find Form 10E tax exemptions and relief. You can also search Form 10E in the search box. You can click on File Now. You are required to select the relevant assessment here and click on Continue. Finally, go through the list of documents that will help you to file the form faster and then click on Let's Get Started. You are required to select the relevant annexure which is applicable to you regarding your particulars of income. Please select an extra one for areas, salary or family pension, an extra one for advanced salary, an extra two and two A for gratuity, an extra three for compensation, and an extra four for pension commutation, and then click on continue button. Confirm the personal information and select the residential status. In case the personal information is not correctly displayed, the same can be edited in the My Profile section. Please ensure that all the mandatory details under My Profile section, including residential status of the SSE, are completed. Now click on Save button. Personal Information tab is now confirmed. You can click on the relevant annexure as applicable to you. If you select annexure 1, area salary or family income, you can enter the details of the area salary and then click on save button. Area salary tab is now confirmed. If you wish to report advanced salary, you can provide details. Click on add details to provide details of salary, family pension received in advance relating to different previous years. Advanced salary tab is now confirmed. You can click on gratuity if applicable to you. Please select the radio button for how many years of service you've rendered with the previous employer. Enter the details of gratuity income and click save. Gratuity tab is now confirmed. You can click on compensation on termination of employment. You can enter the details of compensation on termination of employment. That will help you to calculate the relief amount for compensation on termination of employment and click on save button. You can now click on commutation of pension tab if applicable to you. 
enter the details of commutation of pension received and calculate the relief amount for commutation of pension and then click on save button commutation of pension tab is now confirmed you can go to verification tab please note that the annexures as relevant will be visible at the time of filing form 89 depending upon the radio buttons that you have selected at the time of starting the filing of the form please select the check box enter the place and click on save button once all the tabs are confirmed you can click on preview you would be able to check the relevant annexures that you have filled up please verify if the details are correct you can also edit the details if the details are correct you can e verify the form through any of the modes of verification post e verification form 10e will be submitted the acknowledgement number will be generated and communicated on the registered email id and mobile number the taxpayers might also want to know that how would they come to know if the income tax department has disallowed the relief claimed in the income tax return in case the relief claimed under section 89 is disallowed the same shall be communicated by the income tax department through an intimation under section 1431 after the processing of itr is complete filing of form 10e is very easy to know more you may visit our website 